It is perfect. I'm Susanna, I'm 10 years old. I love nature and animals. Oh. So, this is our room. First things first, what is going on here? I like to make forts because it's like super fun, in my opinion. I know Naomi has her problems with it. What are you doing? Excuse me. I mean, I can't even get to my bed. Just walk through the door. Here is our dressers. Okay. It's anarchy in the morning. Bumping elbows, you're at the same space. I'm looking forward to having my own room so that she won't be yapping on about how I have to pick up my clothes and fold them. I mean, if I'm just gonna take them out, why fold them? <laughs> Who has the most trophies? Me. Me. This is my science award, and I have lots of certificates from other academic things. These are mostly mine. I don't need to display all my trophies. She does dance, but... And singing and acting. You guys are just a little bit competitive. Yeah, just, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. We know what you don't like about sharing a room, but let's get to the really fun part. What would you have in your dream room, Susanna? I'm thinking nature, a forest, and maybe it can include animals in some way. I just want it to look really green. I'd have tons of space for all the crazy, messy things that I do. And your forts. Yeah, all the forts. What ideas do you have for Susanna's room? Well, I was thinking really natural theme, like some greenery, some browns. A forest theme? Yeah. Susanna can be really messy, so maybe a place to keep all her clothes organized. Like a big dresser? Exactly. Susanna's really big into writing and building blocks, so a space for her to work on that would be really perfect. I'm really excited. Let's get to work. In order to give Susanna's room that woodsy feel, we are going to foibois this dresser. What's faubois? I'm really glad you asked. Faubois, from the French word for false wood, refers to the artistic imitation of wood or wood grains in various media. That's really complicated. In simpler terms, we're gonna put some fake grain pattern on this drawer. So I have some really pretty green paint. We are gonna paint this drawer. So why does Susanna want a forest paint? She's been an intense animal lover her whole life. Now, we have to let the paint dry. We are gonna mix varnish and the metallic paint into the same paint tray. You wanna mix it up for us? So the varnish helps sort of thin out the paint. Wow. So when you apply it, you'll see the green underneath. So pretty. We are going to apply a little bit of the paint mm -hmm. onto this drawer. This is a wood graining tool. Looks like a cat brush. You're gonna take this tool, apply some pressure, and pull it down as you gently rock back and forth to create wood grain. Do you wanna do the next one? Sure. Wow. I'm liking it. What do you think? So textured. That's the fun thing about this is no tree pattern has the same grain, so your drawer doesn't have to be perfect either. It's fabulous. <laughs> Susanna is gonna have a fabulous wood grain dresser in her room. Perfect. Fabulous. Since these two sisters are really competitive, I decided to put together a project competition. Yeah! Yeah! All right, Team Susanna, Team Naomi, whoever finishes a project first wins the competition. Let's go! Yeah. Susanna and her dad are crafting seashell wind chimes. First step is to spray paint half the seashells a cool ocean blue. Let's go. Then, using fishing wire, attach the painted shells to modified sewing hoops. Naomi and her mom are hard at work on a felt wreath garland. Using a marker, roughly sketch an outline of a leaf on the felt. Next, cut out the leaves using scissors. Then, carefully thread a needle through your leaf and run leaves of different colors along your string to create your garland. Five minutes left! <laughs> okay, let's go. We can do this. Okay, guys, time is ticking. How's the losing side feeling? I don't know who you're talking to. Five, four, three, two, one! That's game. Drop your tools. 
and reveal your project. Both teams did an awesome job. The winner of the competition is... We are both winners! <laughs> so, Susanna's really into nature and animals, and I thought it'd be a really good idea to make her a shelf out of a tree stump. I started by taking a tree stump and cutting it into slices that are two inches thick. So this shelf was gonna sit in the corner. I'm gonna use a couple of tools to make sure I get the right lines, and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut it out. Time to cut. Time to seal it with poly. It doesn't have to be too thick. It gives it a nice shine, a protective finish. All right. These are gonna look great. You finally get to see your new room. Countdown to launch. Five, five, four, three, two, one! Oh, it looks awesome! so mean. It's so pretty. Susanna, I made that. Remember this old desk? The tan one. It's the same thing, just painted green. We took this little fabois stick, made it look like wood. Your mom got very into it. It had to be perfect for you. It is perfect. Check out this desk. And, and look at the lamp. It, it, it's a bunny. And also, you want to do an art project but not clean up your homework? Slide it out. Take a seat. You can do building blocks, arts and crafts, and your homework. Anything you want. So much space. And check out these shelves over here. How did you make these things? Well, I took a couple of tree stumps, and then I cut them up, and then I sealed them with a special material to keep it nice and shiny. Do you approve? Yes. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how you love a good tent fortress bed? I can just hang things over here in the voila. Oh. <laughs> so like, this is mine. This is yours. Everything. All of it. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Subscribe to get all our videos. Catch your favorite shows on Universal Kids. And click on the playlist for more. <laughs>